The Cavs have found their next franchise player in Donovan Mitchell, as the risk to give up three unprotected first rounders in that deal has paid off. Mitchell and Jarrett Allen are the most efficient pick and roll duo in the NBA. Against his former team, Donovan had 23 points on 92% true shooting, while his backcourt partner Darius Garland was a game high plus 25. The Cavs have won four straight as of this recording. They've beat the reigning Eastern Conference champion Boston Celtics twice already and ranked third in the Eastern Conference about halfway through the season. Before I break down all that and more, according to YouTube's analytics, only 10.7% of you watching right now are subscribed. So please subscribe and turn on notifications, drop a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and follow my Instagram and Twitter at DFlowHoops. Thank you greatly for the support. Let's get right back to the content. So, from a Raptor fan's perspective, the Cavaliers scare me with their top-heavy firepower consisting of quick-twitch manufacturers like Mitchell and Garland, who can get what they want in isolations and pick-and-rolls, essentially at will. Coach JB Bickerstaff does a great job mixing up his offensive and defensive sets, but purely the skill and speed of Cleveland's backcourt isn't to be messed with and can take you home by itself. This all-star guard tandem is combining to rack up over 50 points and 12 assists every game. Scariest part about this Cavs team is that, despite how talented Darius and Donovan are, their guard play doesn't even define their identity. Cleveland is number 7 among all 30 teams in paint touches, number 6 in defensive rebounding, and they own the NBA's number 1 rated defense, approaching the midway point. What a trade steal the 243-pound product of the University of Texas in Jarrett Allen has turned out to be, as GM Kobe Altman received the fro in that infamous three-team blockbuster deal involving the Beard on January 14, 2021. Considering Harden's no longer a member of the Nets, and the player Kobe sent to Kings County in Dante Exum is long gone out of the association, safe to say the Cavs were big-time winners in that Allen deal, the post-LeBron rebuild has turned out to be the smoothest of sailing. According to Second Spectrum, Donovan Mitchell and Jarrett Allen score 1.3 points per pick and roll, which ranks number one among all two-man lineups this year. As Ringer legend Kevin O'Connor writes, Though Mitchell has dominated as a scorer with pull-up jumpers, he's passed on 146 of 253 pick and rolls with Jarrett Allen, leading to a ton of open shots. With how on a string Donovan and Jarrett are, and the second sense they have for where each other are on the floor, that helps them break down defenses without their coach needing to draw up an advanced playset. As Jarrett Allen slips this screen, Mitchell goes in and out dribble and spins off his right foot in the opposite direction while keeping the dribble alive, shedding LeBron, and keep an eye on the elusive angle in which Allen cuts to the hoop with. If he went with a straight line drive, Thomas Bryant would see the lob coming. Instead, Allen skirts around the free throw line for a 70 degree angle roll. D. Mitch spots him for the showtime lob. Reigning DPLY Marcus Smart presses up right here, and as Allen slips again, watch the attention to detail from the fro to spring off his right foot in a wide stance, which gains him the leverage to make an imposing roll to the basket. This forces Blake Griffin to stay low and drop, and D. Mitch just hezzy dribbles and steps back. Donovan Mitchell's broken out into a superstar this year, thriving in an organization and city he feels embraced in, averaging career highs by far in points per game, field goal, three-point, free throw, and true shooting percentage. Mitchell's 74.4% efficiency from zero to three feet is also a career high by far. He's both the Cavs' best player and vocal leader, so he'll take these Cavaliers as far as they go come April, May, and June. Tied with Jason Tatum of the Boston Celtics, the newest face of Cleveland in the post-LeBron era has posted the sixth most amount of 30-plus point games, with 15 of them already. Mitchell's ISO scoring has been typically shifty all year. In a mismatch with Noah Vonley after calling off the Kevin Love screen, Spida goes between the legs cross and momentum right to freeze Vonley. Then he hangs in the air for the tough finish under heavy pressure. While Donovan's not primarily a one-on-one -on -one guy, Mitchell's effective field goal percentage in isolations among players who get at least two isos per game ranks number one in the association. With Andrew Nemhart top-locking Kevin Love right here, Love is unable to get up to set the screen, and while you'd see most panic in this situation, Donovan just calmly reaches into his bag of sauces for that patented slippery hezzy dribble, 
leading to an off-handed momentum and fundamentally sound on-balance step back and key in on all the space he's created from Benedict Matherin at this point after that combination. In addition to what Mitchell does, when you take into account that Cleveland has firstly a shifty guard with Stephen Curry skills in Darius Garland, and secondly, a shot-creating slasher that can execute downhill attacks like this poster on OKC's Darius Baisley in Karis LeVert, and it's safe to say the Cavaliers' shot creation is in very good hands. 2022's ROI runner-up and resembling one of, if not the best player from that 2021 draft class in Evan Mobley, is continuing to freakily resemble the righty version of Chris Bosh. And I need to talk about his productive sophomore campaign in a separate video. A lot of players on this deeply talented number three seeded Cavalier squad deserve attention in another video. Bench wing score in Seti Osman is shockingly number one in plus minus. Dean Wade and Kevin Love give this team two very solid floor spacing rebounders off the pine as well. It's dangerous in itself that I've gone this entire video without mentioning the lockdown perimeter defending feel-good energy guy Isaac Okoro. Okoro's constantly zoned in ball pressure defensively and general activity on both ends, whether it's on the glass or in the passing lanes, makes him one of my favorite players to watch, primarily for his defense. Question is, will the Cavs be a title contender in 2023? Best answer down below in the comments gets next video shout out. Top 5 commenters by December 21st earn free merchandise of their choosing. Two shout outs from my last two uploads, firstly to Boston Haltain, who says, if there's any player on the Nuggets that deserves more recognition, it's Aaron Gordon. Many fans view him as a flashy dunker, but there's so much more that he contributes on the court. Gordon's averaging 17 points a game this season, shooting 61% from the field and 39% from three, which are both career highs. He's always guarding the other team's best big, and he's always hustling and keeping the energy up. Pause to read the rest of that take. And secondly, to Mr. Goozle, who says, as a major LeBron stand, I'd have to say that he's not a top five player anymore. He can be at stretches, but he can no longer produce the same way he could even in 2020. The athleticism is still there, but the stamina is not. You can even see that on his passing. It's not precise. I still have MJ as the GOAT, as his peak is a bit higher than LBJ, but I do believe that by the end of his career, whenever it is, LeBron will have accumulated accolades that you just can't deny. He's the second best playmaker of all time in my opinion, only behind Steph, a top 10 scorer for sure. Pause to read the rest of that take. Thanks for watching, have a good one.